the East Mississippi Lions football team are once again Mississippi State champions. Here is a deeper look into how yesterday's MAC championship played out. In a rematch of this year's season opener in Wesson, the East Mississippi Lions avenged that loss to Colwyn by defeating them 27-20 to become back-to-back -back state champions. This was not a tale of two halves, but rather a tale of four quarters, the fourth being the most impactful. With a minute 27 left to play, Lions quarterback Ty Keyes found freshman wide receiver Raymond Blackman for a 79-yard catch and run that gave the Lions a 27-20 lead over the Wolves. He saw one of our guys open. I mean, he, he, it, was a, it was a play. He rolled out a little bit, and uh, you know, I think the, the big thing that he was just trying to do was just trying to make a play, you know, and I think that's, for us, that, that's, been, that, that's huge. When he, when he gets rolling, he's pretty good now. Just find an open guy, and, uh, you know, that, that was the thing we told him uh, at halftime. Just, you know, find the open guys and uh, let them make plays, and that's what happened, made a play. The offense was only able to run a total of six plays in the first quarter, largely due to Colwyn's 14-play touchdown drive capped off by a 6-yard touchdown from running back Trey Miner. With the Lions only scoring two field goals in the second quarter and going into halftime with a 13-6 deficit, changes needed to be made. I think I think the biggest thing was is that we quit standing around watching the paint dry to use a Hoosiers, a Hoos Hoosiers analogy. You know, we've, uh, you know, these, these, you, know, you were hearing bickering, you were hearing fussing, you were hearing, and, and I told him, I said, these are the same guys that all summer long put their hand on the ground and were running sprints all year long together and you were lifting each other up. And now that it's time uh, to, to really do something hard, you're going you're gonna to not lift each other up, and they, and they did. The Lions successfully defend their state title and improve to 9-0 and in conference title games. They'll now await Monday's announcement from the NJCAA to see if they did enough this season to compete for the national title as the playoffs are set to begin.